Welcome back. We're writing Little Man Computer in C++. And last time we, we finished off the the happy path of uh, working our way through parsing, well, assembling a, a, a stream of assembly language instructions. And there are various directions we, we could kind of go from here, but we're kind of wanting to, to angle ourselves towards getting this um, uh, top level uh, executable uh, in <clears throat> implemented so that we can uh, actually run uh, run the little man computer from the command line with with um, uh, a source code file and, and see it in action and um, to, to do that I thought we might uh, go down the direction of, of, of writing something more more like a more of an integration test uh, today uh, that will get us to working with uh, an actual file of uh, little man uh, assembler and making sure that we're actually being able to uh, assemble that uh, as <clears throat> excuse me as as, a, as an action uh, so if we were to what's what, what are we setting up here like this so if we were to just go in here and just blatantly steal uh, one of the sample codes. I don't like that. That's a, something a bit more. Uh, so we can we can start with something relatively simple. This is perfectly fine. Um, so what does this do? Uh, program will take user input and count down to zero. Uh, I was presumably outputting as as we go. So if I uh, I don't know. There's no official extension here, so we shall just. Uh, Make up the LMC extension sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Um, what's the right way of doing this? Something like that, isn't it? So that's our uh, assembly language program. It takes an input, uh, outputs it as is, and then starts this uh, loop where we uh, branch if zero our quit uh, branch if zero to our quit uh, a label down here which is a halt instruction and uh, presumably we didn't start with zero although that's not necessarily the case and then we uh, subtract one uh, which uh, as there are no constants in uh, this assembly language we've had to put in uh, another labeled data uh, memory address we output that and then we branch directly back to the loop, do our check, and uh, eventually uh, finish looping and quit. So that's fine. We can uh, we can work with that. Uh, what uh, we kind of need to do is uh, to um, work out what this would be uh, compiled to. But for for the moment, uh, I'm not going to quite do that. Uh, I'm just going to drop out of this and go to our tests uh, so that we can start building uh, the uh, the framework around uh, what we want this test to look like. So let's add another test. Um, actually, I had the idea, this is a slight aside, that, that uh, one of the fixes we did uh, last time or in the last couple of times was uh, this uh, out of uh, this 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 out of bounds uh, array access in uh, in our production code uh, which I have a feeling might have been the actual cause of our um, memory error as a poster being running out of stack and what I'd quite like to do is to um, try putting this back uh, to um, the uh, the other structure uh, to see if the tests now work properly uh, rather than having this uh, slightly uh, clunky way of um, initializing uh, the, the fixture variable. So if we were to do this we should be able to find that if uh, that is the case that this should now work uh, without uh, without error in a reliable manner. Um, 
it kind of feels that that was the actual underlying problem and not uh, n not running out of memory uh, as as I'd kind of first guessed. And if that is the case, then I, I think we'll uh, we'll return this back to its um, its original. Uh, yeah, that looks completely reliable. So I'm going to put this back, um, as I think that's a, a kind of a nicer way of uh, of doing things. Get status. So this is um, now. So let's see if we can do this without adding the. Uh, uh, I mean that. I mean get add without adding the sample for now. So if I put the git add there and then git commit hyphen m, let's not do that. Um, uh, return to using stack uh, variable for test fixture. Um, and, so, and, and leave it like that I think is a, is a slightly nicer way to do. Uh, so if I do get status now, we should find that it's just the extra uh, file. Excellent, that's very good. Uh, I'm not completely useless at Git, as it turns out. So let's go back to writing this as, uh, this acceptance test that we were trying to do. So what we want to say is that um, assembling. Uh, uh, program from file uh, results in correct uh, instruction vector something 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 to that effect um, and then we can we can see where we go go with the test so we're going to have uh, an assert I can't even remember what our assert r equals yeah so so assert r equal uh, expected instructions expected yeah, instructions uh, instructions and then we will have some sort of so I want to do something like like this as our test um, which is going to look really quite uh, simplistic uh, but lead us hopefully to the right the right kind of thing so we're looking for LMC um, uh, <clears throat> now this isn't going to I, I I don't want this to be some sort of class thing I think we can what if we were to do assemble uh, that should be instructions. Uh, what if we were to do this? I would quite like just to be able to write that, really. Um, so what happens if we make that? It's just going to say that we don't have things. Oh, I haven't got expected instructions, but that's fine. We don't have assemble, but that's uh, known. So if I were to also do uh, Vector int uh, expected instructions uh, like that. I, I'm not going to fill it in just yet uh, because we kind of need to work out what that looks like um, in a moment. But let's just get ourselves to uh, failing uh, in uh, an expected manner rather than uh, failing to compile. Uh, so we want to go to our assembler.h and go to the bottom here and now we're going to do uh, this and say vector int uh, assemble assemble uh, file path I want to be able to say something to that effect now does that do the right thing. I've not yet tried writing uh, sing, simple, simple, simple functions in uh, a namespace, uh, but I'm assuming that that does kind of what we want. It looks like it's going to get through the compile. 
is it going to link fail uh, and need an implementation? Um, I hope it is. Uh, indeed it is, excellent. So we can we can move a step closer. In fact, I'm going to be slightly lazy and copy that. So we can then go to our assembler implementation here and we can say that and that will then become LMC assemble. We can do that. Ooh, I don't like that formation. Uh, uh, we can do the, the maybe unused thing, which is kind of nicer than faking uh, other stuff. And then can we just, we can just do that, can't we, I think. And I think that actually might pass the test because we've done um, silly things. We've also typoed there. I have a feeling that might actually pass the test because we've carelessly not uh, not written out our real test content. Uh, but in a moment we'll do that. And then it won't be a problem. Let us, uh, let us see if this gets us... Uh, to where we need to go. And then, yep, that just passes, that's good. So what we then need to do, <laughs> uh, you won't have seen that, but I've just overwritten my uh, my mark uh, that uh, stores where the, uh, where the test is, let's do that. So what we need to do is we need to, uh, what's the right way to do this? Split uh, sample.lmc. That's uh, what we're after, isn't it? So we should now be able to put this in sensibly. There's only a, an eight uh, set of instructions there. And the indexes are sort of slightly off to the left. Uh, off by one. So 901 is in and 902 is out and I'm going to have to look some of this up because I can't remember it all. Mm, nope, that's not the same same thing. So 901 is in, 902 is out. Uh, we want to branch if zero on box six. Remember we have to subtract one from the line number. So branch if zero to line six, so that's 706. We then have a sub of uh, memory location seven, which I think is two, yes. 207, we then have an out again. We then have a, uh, oh, did I do the branch zero correctly? That's seven, yeah. And then a branch anything, which is a 600, uh, back to index two. Then we have a halt, and then we have a dat with one in it. So I think that's okay, isn't it? So input, output, branch if zero to memory location six, uh, subtract memory location seven, output, branch if zero to memory location two, oh, sorry, branch unconditionally to memory location two, that's fine, halt, and uh, a dat of one. So that looks fine. So now uh, we can get rid of that and we should be able to say uh, make that test and uh, find that it uh, fails and it will fail because it was expecting eight uh, instructions and got zero. And then we can... Uh, I'm not going to do the 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 most trivial, um, the most trivial pass here because I could just say those uh, output directly those eight instructions, and I don't really want to do that. Um, what I want to do instead is actually use the bits and pieces of code that we've already got uh, and put everything together. And this this is more of a sort of an integration level test where. We want to make sure the, the flow through the system is, is, is doing what we wanted to do. So if I go to, uh, go away, <sighs> whoops and all that, uh, it's a, a bad Vim day. So 
Let's uh, go back to our test at the bottom there. And let's go to our assembler and to the bottom here. So first things first, I'm going to have to work out how I uh, read from a file. Uh, uh, read lines from file. Uh, open file stream C++. Uh, could be. Let us uh, let us take a punt on this and see what uh, see what it wants us to do. C plus plus eleven. It's close enough. So if are we going to need some check on? Ah, oh, does support constring? Well played, whoever did the C plus plus library for doing that sort of thing. So we want uh, an IF stream, I guess, and something to that effect. So let's see if this works. So we want to go um, and include f stream, I'm assuming. And then we want f stream. Oh, I'm going to hope that that does the right thing. Uh, and then fs.open uh, file path and do we need to do these things? I suspect uh, that we we need to do. Um, I I stream is that going to just be something or other? So open file for reading is in mode in so stdf stream in so something like that what's app append yeah we're just we're just we're just inputting that so, so we'll see what we do we see what we can do there let's see if that's sufficient we should be able to get rid of this and then i also want to say fs dot close as well to make sure that we're tidying up after ourselves that's all fine and I'm hoping that we can do something in the middle, but I want to just make sure that compiles first and that I've not made a mess of anything. I'm hoping that uh, that lets us access the file in an appropriate manner. That's good. So we then need to call the relevant bits of our assembler uh, to put everything together, um, which hopefully should be relatively straightforward. So in here we want uh, assembler like so and if I just uh, nip into here and check what our sequence of calls are so we want to call um, parse instructions first so let's uh, let's do that assembler dot parse instructions and this is the the slightly uh, the slightly uncertain bit uh, to see if we can do that instructions can we do that or is that the wrong type to pass to the assembler go on you know you want to yes that's a good start isn't it so that was the the slightly uncertain bit, and I think I'm fairly happy that things are just going to go smoothly now. <laughs> he says, uh, touching all the wood in uh, local vicinity. So I'm happy with that bit. So the next thing is uh, to uh, extract label addresses from that uh, set. So we should just be able to do uh, assembler dot extract label addresses from instructions and then finally assemble uh, which should maybe be allowed to just be a return uh, we will see um, possibly not quite uh,
Um, what's the uh, the right? I, I kind of want to say instructions here, but that's uh, that's not the right thing. I'm going to be slightly naughty here and say i equals uh, assembler dot uh, assemble uh, instructions and see if I can return i and it'll do the right uh, transferring of uh, memory and what have you. Uh, um, I kind of want to do some sort of try finally structure which I, I, I'm not certain is a thing in C++ so that I can do a return statement and make sure that the uh, the stream is closed at the same time but let's not worry about that for now. Let's uh, let's get this thing to pass first. And how's our luck? Oh, isn't that wonderful? First time. I'm quite pleased with that really. So we create a file stream, we open our file path, we create an assembler. We parse the instructions from the file stream into our uh, intermediate form. We then extract the label and address addresses for those instructions. And then we assemble uh, those instructions and we return, um, we return, so let's call it assembled just slightly nicer name and uh, well that's doing something uh, try finally C++ is that a thing that you can do <clears throat> no it doesn't appear so uh, but that's fine we, we, we can live with the uh, the current state of affairs I think so assuming this works, uh, I think I'm fairly happy with that. So that does the, the opening the file path, that does the closing the file path. I'll just give us a bit of room to, to maneuver there, I think. That's very nice. I'll just double check that that runs uh, again. I can't imagine inserting white spaces has broken anything and then we'll just double check our test. Um, assembling program from file results in correct instruction vector. I'm pretty sure that's uh, an acceptable um, an acceptable name for the test for now. And yep, yeah, good. We'll just double check the test. It's very simple. Let's uh, assemble some instructions. Uh, they're the expected instructions and we'll check they're equal and they are uh, when we run the test. So that's excellent. Um, good. Let's add everything. Good. No harm using the A there. It's just sort of muscle memory in the fingers. Um, uh, assemble uh, from file uh, I think is fine for now. Excellent and we're now a, a step nearer being able to put everything together uh, and we'll see, see if we can get quite close to that next time. <laughs>